Hello my friends and welcome back to our continued let's play the casting of Frank Stone from the world of Dead by Daylight. The redemption run, almost the anti-redemption run. Yeah, we're, we're just about there to the anti-redemption run. Basically what we're going to do today is we are going to get Chris out with everyone alive. And we're going to see it when everyone is there at the campfire and everything like that. Then we're going to rewind and we're going to see only Chris surviving. So everyone else is dead except for Chris. And then, well then, I, I mean, we can play around with scenarios. And a couple of people have suggested some things, uh, especially uh, Jonathan. Thank you so much for everything, my friend. So yeah, we got some exploring to do. I don't know if this is gonna be one video, two videos, three videos or whatever. But either way, there is some stuff that I want to do before we go back in time and have Chris go back in time. Okay, yeah, that, that makes sense. <laughs> because I do want to see... I, I The final video of this playlist is probably going to be Chris at the end with her friends and everyone in current time there as well. So everyone's basically in the same time and everyone lives. And that's going to be the final thing that we do in this game. Okay, so here we are back with Chris and the screen. Now we're basically going to choose not to go through the portal this time. This is oh, so cool how shit. many variations of this game there are. Leave. Chose to look for another way out of the manse. And it looks like we don't have to fight away either, it's just automatic. It would have been nice if there were more scenes here of different things happening. Yeah, in the next one, I'm going to have Chris be the sole survivor. Is so if the she's the sole survivor, we'll to be. get to My see her go to the campfire. A killer My prediction is she's going to be at the campfire and it's going to be Maddie that we're is open, navigating the final area of crew. Sacrifice and violence. All will be swallowed by the and if it is Maddie, I might, I might put a cut. And what of me? Because we've seen it. The one who served up this world for it to devour. For loyal service. Unending. <laughs> That never is, is not going to be satisfying to watch. Let's see if I was right. Is it Maddie who escapes? Yep. I think I was right about this. So if we want, if we want to see the, uh, the ending with someone that may have a different response, because those are our friends, we're gonna have to do Chris as the only survivor. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Shit. Linda? 
It's you. Hey. Hey, the gang's all here. Everybody made it out. I wouldn't have if it weren't for you. Weren't for me. <laughs> weren't for me. Stan didn't make it. Stan isn't Stan anymore. He's a no good rotten egg. He didn't deserve that. Hmm. Only fate decides what anyone deserves. What did happen to Augustine? I saw her on my way out. And? She had something she wanted to say, but it wasn't worth hearing. I'm glad we found you. We gotta go get help. No one can help us now. But why haven't you left this campsite? Why are you just sitting here? It does kind of suck that we don't actually get a kill Frank Stone. Like, I understand the DBD connection to it, but it would have been nice if, you know, we could do something to stop him completely. You know what I mean? He's almost here. We have to run. Wait. Isn't it coming after us? Everyone's arrived. Now we can begin. I don't want to go home. Hmm. This is all there is. Help! Help me! Help! Help me get him! Okay, if we're going to get her out alive. Kinda need other people to die other than Stan since Stan automatically dies. Do we want Linda to die or do we sacrifice ourselves? I don't know if there's a way to kill Sam other than this. And then I think if I fail the generator, that might screw over Linda and Maddie. Might, I I'm not sure. Although, does this now screw over Chris? That I'm not sure about. We're gonna have to try it together. Just try variances. There goes this too. Okay, so Chris does get out regardless. I've never seen this before. Oh, crap. 
gonna work though. I was like, wait, is there a way to save Stan? Oh my gosh, did we just figure something out? No, 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 no. It, 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 it's not. <laughs> it is not. It is not a thing that happens. From the power cut? Shit! That's how we got down here. There has to be another way out. So I think, like I said, the fastest way to get through this may be to uh do, 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 do. fail the elevator. If we can, we I, I think if you working, wait long enough, it works too. The elevator. Let's try it. But it's also probably fast if we just fail this. I don't know if there's any way you can get Chris dead. Like, after this point, Chris is basically like guaranteed to survive, right? Well, guaranteed to survive or guaranteed to go back in time, one of the two. Really? I succeeded by doing nothing? You gotta be kidding me, game. There we go. I mean, even if you kidnap someone, it should still be enough, right? Because they end up dying anyway. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we can die here as well. And Sam was killed. Stan was killed. So there should be no one left. First time I've seen her killed in that way. I think Linda was the one we saw. I like how it says you're thrown to your death. Uh, we got cleaved through that throat. Kind of cool though that there was a chase scene here with Chris if everyone else dies. I don't think it's gonna happen though, but. That was cool. She saw a stain get, uh, got killed. And then she just forgets about it. <laughs> oh, shit. Leave. Yep, I was right. 
it, it automatically gets us out of here. Now, I'm pretty sure we've seen this a few times, so let's jump to where Chris is. Now we should see Chris. Yep. so much, but it does. You have to click your heels together. Uh, fucking movies. So is she going to say anything new because these are her friends? Fucking what is that? Are we sure this is a good idea? This is the only way we know for certain. And we have to know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So far, nothing yet. <gasps> it's in there, all right. What do we do with it? We, uh, we separate it. We each take a piece. Then we take them as far away from each other as we possibly can, and we never Never let them come back together again. That can't be our only option. We can't let it hurt anyone else. That's the bottom line. Okay. Much for murder mill. At least there's one line of dialogue that's new. Yep, murder mill still happened. At least in some universes, right? Whatever happens next is my responsibility. Mine. You just need to go live your life. Never think about this again. Never tell anyone about what happened. You were never part of it. You don't know anything. You understand? I awake, unsure where I am. Then memory floods back, and I know she's the only one left. Our world is gone, consumed by a living realm beyond space, beyond time. Thanks August to Wing, how can it be there? No, I did forget. I did say the last thing we need to do is an everyone run, but there is one thing I need to do beyond that, and that's to go through all the collectibles. I've never done that for any other Dark Picture game, but probably do want to do for this one. Let's just go with the campfire. So that whole scene seems to be much shorter based on how many people make it to the campfire. 
Otherwise, they're just like husk. Alright, it's time to do some additional variances, shall we? For all eternity. An endless hunt of fear and hope, pain and sacrifice from which even death is no escape. And now let the trial begin. <laughs> Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. But before we go, please remember that you matter and you are brilliant and you are loved and you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.